Hi, I'm Dwight Brown from Good Sounds. This is the third instructional video in a multi-part series dealing with theatrical sound production. Today we're going to address the issue of proper sound system setup and the things that you need to know in order to avoid that dreaded feedback. Everybody's situation is different and the sound system that you have available is probably going to vary greatly from venue to venue and show to show. Budget may also have a huge impact on what you can spend on a sound system. But there are fundamentals that apply to any live sound system, and more specifically the speaker setup, that will be necessary for engineering a successful play or musical. It is critical that the main speakers be out in front of the stage, or at least in front of the actors wearing microphones. And we see a lot of school auditoriums that fail miserably in this area. Other venues can fall into this category as well, but schools seem to be the worst. Far too many times we see speakers mounted on either side of the stage opening, commonly called the proscenium. Now this by itself isn't necessarily a problem, especially if the stage doesn't really extend any farther than that. But far more often than not, there's usually at least 10 to 12 feet of stage beyond the proscenium, and to make it worse, directors may have stage extensions built that reach out into the first row of seats. Well now, you have a serious problem where actors and microphones may be far out in front of those speakers. The moment you unmute a microphone or try to get a tiny bit more volume, the house starts wailing like the shift siren at the gravel pit. The reason is that sound travels out of the speaker and eventually makes its way back to the microphone on the actors, either directly or by reflections from the surrounding surfaces. The worst case scenario is when sound reaches the microphone directly because it's going to be very close to the volume it was when it left the speaker. Reflections will come back at lower volumes usually, but direct sound will be loud and when that happens, it's feedback time. Add to that the fact that many times the actors will be wearing omnidirectional microphones and you're only going to compound the problem. If this is the house system, you're going to need to abandon this ship immediately and set up remote speakers in a more appropriate location, which would be out in front of the stage. Speakers on stands somewhere in front of the stage isn't exactly pretty, but I can assure you that it is a much better alternative than folks covering their ears the entire show. The audience might notice them initially, but once the show gets going and the sound is incredible, no one's going to care about those speakers. Join us for our next video when we will discuss setting up the proper gain structure on your mixer to get the best volume possible. You can always check us out on Facebook or at GoodSoundDesign.com. If you need some assistance in setting up your sound system or need to rent or purchase speakers for your show or venue, please let us know. We carry most major brands. And as always, thanks for joining us here at Good Sounds, and remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good.